Hello everybody, I always forgot to do an intro to this vlog. Can you believe that? I've actually just finished recording the final outfit of this video and I think it might be my favorite. This isn't it completely. There's layers and I love it. But yeah, we are back with a what I wore in a week. I really hope you guys enjoy watching this one. I'm sure I'll say it several times in the video, but please do let me know which outfit of the following outfits was your favorite. But yeah, I'm excited to be back with my first what I wore in a week of the year. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get on with the outfits. So this is my little OOTD that I wore to the hairdressers very very cash i've literally just had my glasses on for driving hang on okay uh we're not part of the look i've got this big kind of like chunky coat on it's like an aviator style that i think i got from asos i'll try and link it if i can my louis vuitton bag I've got a zara body zara jeans my nike trainers i'll show you what this looks like as well with the jacket off but i love this jacket it's just so nice and big and snuggly i'm really nice for just like a casual weekend look but you can kind of make this a little bit dressier as well if you like it's like a really nice versatile one but keeps me so warm and cozy and then underneath i've got this body on from zara which is like one of my favorites at the moment and then these jeans like i said are also zara these jeans are actually like meant to be mom jeans but i wear them as kind of like a straight leg situation and i really like it at the moment with a chunky trainer I don't know if it's a look that's for everyone like i don't know if everyone's gonna like it but i personally am just really really enjoying it and then my jewelry is Misoma hoop earrings. These are the disco hoops. I've got a Misoma necklace and then my rings are also, no, not Misoma, Monica Vinida. My rings are also Monica Vinida. And then I've just got my usual Apple watch on. My mum is literally just about to arrive. I'm pretty sure I saw her car. So I'm gonna go now and have some tea, but this is my little look for the afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. I literally have just raced home to get back and film this outfit before all the light goes. It's Sunday. It's quite late on in the day. And I wanted to show you today's outfit because it's one of my recent favorites. So I've got this jumper I bought from Zara. Some of you may remember it from a haul last year and I really didn't get the wear out of the jumper. I even had it on my Depop rail. We photographed it. It was like ready to go. And then I went to take a photo of it because I like to do that for my Depop. And I was like, I love this. So why am I getting rid of this? So that's how the Depop goes sometimes. Sometimes things make it on there, sometimes they don't. And this is an example of one that is not going to be making it on there. Not yet anyway, because I'm loving wearing this so much. Like this one cut out shoulder knit from Zara, like I said. I'll try and link it if it's still available. I've then got my Zara leather trousers, which have got a slight turn up at the bottom because I am so short. And then we've got my Nike Air Max. I think they are Air Maxes, which need a bit of a clean now because I walked the dog wearing them this morning and I regret that. It's also very cold today, so I was wearing a coat. However, a scarf and gloves would have been lovely as well because it is freezing. So this outfit definitely needs um, a, f a bit more layering if you're gonna wear this in the UK at the moment. But yeah, I love the overall look of it. Some of you may have recognized this from my recent date night outfits. I put this together for that video and have just absolutely loved it so yeah i'm wearing it in a slightly different way today with a different coat but yeah some of you will definitely recognize this in terms of jewelry today i stayed at ryan's last night so it's all very similar to yesterday or the same so i've got my monica vinida disco hoops my monica vinida necklace no rings because i'm just keeping things simple today it's a sunday and the leather trousers were like enough for a sunday and then i went for my misguided teddy bear coat and my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. I could definitely have done with a scarf and I think that would have really completed the look. But yeah, just a really nice, simple outfit of the day. Oh, and my lipstick of choice today is Charlotte Tilbury JK Magic, I think is the name of the lipstick. I actually put it in my giveaway pile when I was doing, <laughs> this is the theme of today's outfit is things I almost gave away and then changed my mind about, but I put this in my giveaway pile after I did my makeup clear out and then Yesterday I just went to put together a makeup bag just to keep at Ryan's and I swear half the makeup bag has come back home with me because I tried so many new things or old things that I really loved. So there's like a Dior mascara, I was like, oh my God, that is incredible, that's coming home. A lip liner, this lipstick all came back home with me. But yeah, it's just a really nice creamy, but not too sheeny, really beautiful nude tone. It just works really well on my skin tone. It's almost like my lip color, but better. I haven't said that phrase in years if you remember that phrase you have been watching youtube for a very long time but yeah this is my outfit of the day i'll be back with you tomorrow good morning everybody this is my little outfit of the day for the gym i've got my ala yoga cozy jacket on i love this it is so snuggly so cute it's got a hood as well not that it's doing 
much waterproofing for me. I've then got my Adenola. This is my black workout set on underneath. Some of you may remember this one from my first vlog of the year, the organizational one where I just unboxed a load of posts and this was part of it. And then I've got the same Adenola leggings on. I love these sets. They're like my favorite workout sets at the moment. These sets and then the Aloe Yoga super soft cozy what's it called lounge range or something like that they're so so soft and comfy and really great for if you're doing yoga so i love those as well for like more relaxed workouts i've then got my nike trainers i can't remember what these are called they might be like the reacts or something but yeah these are super comfy super bouncy love those really great for like a treadmill walk which is what i'm doing today basically it's too cold outside for me to be walking along the beach so the gym is my new best friend at the moment. And then I've just got this bag because I can't be bothered to take all my stuff out of this bag and put it into a smaller, like more sporty little bag. So we're just working with this. It's going in a locker, it's fine. And it's big enough to hold all my keys, AirPods, all of that. Yeah, that is my little OOTD. I've got my hair in a bun. I actually work out with my hair down a lot more now. Now that I don't have like loads of extensions in, but I'm trying to keep the blow dry effect intact. So I just put it in a swirly little bun. And hopefully later on, it will still be nice and bouncy. But yeah. I will be back with you in a little bit for a proper outfit of the day, but just in case you were wondering what I wear to the gym at the moment, it is an Ala Yoga jacket and then one of my many Adenola sets. I'll tell you what guys, I'm a real lover of a black and white outfit at the moment. I feel like I've had my neutral phase through this winter and now I'm really enjoying a black and white look. This is probably my favourite outfit that I've worn so far this month. It's really, really simple, but I just really love it. So my scarf is an old one from ASOS, I believe. Everyone says it looks really lovely and looks really nice and expensive and they hope it's not expensive. And I'm like, ASOS, I don't even know if it's good quality, but it's a good material. Stuff doesn't get stuck to it. It's very like black. So it looks, I guess it looks a little bit more expensive, but it's served me so well. I have had it for years and years and years and it really wasn't too bank breaking at all and then i've got a coat on from zara this one is like a little i feel like it's actually meant to be ecru it's like a slight off white like a yellowy toned white but it shows up white on camera and works really well with a black and white outfit so i absolutely love it i'll show you what i've got on underneath in a sec but my trainers are some new ones from axel arigato i think that's how you say it they're super super chunky i'm still in the process of breaking them in they still feel a bit too boxy but i'm gonna wear them out for my coffee and just kind of get started on breaking them in. But yeah, I'll show you what I've got on underneath. Oh, and I've got my Louis Vuitton Paul Shet Matisse because I can't be bothered to change my bag yet. But yeah, underneath we have got layers. So I've got a thermal and a body to keep myself as warm as possible. And then I've got my same Zara like straight leg trousers, which again, I've just rolled up ever so slightly at the bottom because short girl problems. And then, for my earrings, I wanted to go like chunky and noticeable, but without it being like a, too much of a natural metal vibe, you know, where you get like hammer metals or at the moment, lots of my earrings are like, they've got a slightly irregular shape to them to give them that like lovely natural look. I went for something that's just a little bit more clean cut with these and other stories hoops just to give it like a chunky but modern vibe. I've gone for the same necklace as usual because I'm just really obsessed with this one from Monica Vinader at the moment. It adds something but without being too much and it's very versatile, goes with everything. And I really liked the fact that it does have a little bit of sparkle to it. I think it's got like a little circle of, I think it's diamonds, I think. And that works really well because I've gone for a little bit of sparkle on my rings. So this ring is from Local Eclectic. And then I have these rings on as well, which are also from Local Eclectic and they're like real gold, but they've just got this sparkle to them, which I really love. And it's obviously like chunky and a bit statement, but really clean and modern at the same time. And then on my wrist, I have got my Apple Watch strap, my Etsy rose gold bracelet, and then my Monica Vinader rose gold bracelet. And you can really see the difference in the tones coming through. But I like the Monica Vinader bangle because it's got that little bit of sparkle as well, which ties in really nicely with my rings too. And the necklace also. Then on my lips, I have Please Hold, Jamie Genevieve Velvet Treasure lip liner. And again, JK magic lipstick from charlotte tilbury but yeah that's my outfit of the afternoon i'll be back with you in a little bit Good morning everybody it's tuesday i've not got much on today but i have a few people popping into the house so i've made myself look presentable however presentable but very very comfortable i've got this 
cashmere grey knit on which is from Zara. Such a good find. Whenever I find a nice like cashmere piece on the high street, I always buy it. It's always such good quality, feels so soft. I wear them so, so much. It's such a good little investment into your wardrobe. I've then got H&M leggings on underneath. These are super, super old from like 2014. I've got my Uggies on and just a pair of little trainer socks. And then I've just popped on a load of jewelry basically because the outfit was feeling a bit lacking and I couldn't be bothered to do my hair. It's in a bun. It's hair wash day. So my earrings are from Astrid and Miu, I believe. My necklace is also Astrid and Miu. And then my rings are, this one is Monica Vinader. This one is Monica Vinader. And I think this one is a Zara one. But yeah, they're really, really cute. So I've popped these two together because the one on my middle finger kind of looks like a bigger version of this little one. And then I've got my Monica Vinader one on my middle finger on my left hand. And I really like this one because it's like a hammered metal style. Works really nicely with the other ones as well. Yeah, nothing crazy. Just a cute little at home outfit. Really nice and comfy and very, very warm as well. I've got a body on underneath this as well, just for a little layer of extra warmth and I'm so snuggly. So yeah, I'll see you guys again tomorrow for hopefully a slightly dressier outfit. Can't guarantee anything though. Everybody I thought I'd just jump in quickly and show you this morning's outfit. This isn't my official outfit of the day, but I've just been to the post office. So I thought I would quickly show you what I threw on, which is very low key. Nothing is behaving right now. I got completely windswept. So I've had to just try and readjust and uh, it's not going well. Like the longer I stand here, the more crazy my hair is getting. But I have the same leggings on as yesterday. My ones from H&M, my Uggs are the same and then I've got again a black body on underneath my jacket the jacket I've got on is from H&M it's like a really oversized like faux leather jacket and then I've just thrown on this big cozy scarf a little bit of extra warmth this is actually one that I got from Acne at Bista Village ages ago I got it as an absolute steal and I just still love it I think I've had it since 2017 now absolutely love it it's so long so you can wrap it round I actually when I went out I wrapped it round twice yeah i'm gonna show you the jacket underneath oh i'm ready to get myself in a bit of a tangle that's it yeah. my hair is misbehaving which is annoying because it's now freshly washed and yeah love that but yeah this is the leather jacket it's like a really nice size it's not too oversized so i can wear it like dressed up so i could wear it with like a cute pair of trousers and a cute top and heels on a night out and it wouldn't look too boxy and oversized but it works really nicely with a big chunky oversized scarf i've been loving wearing it like that with my ugg boots as well and i've just got a pretty little thing body on underneath and pretty much nothing else because i just needed to get to the post office before it shut this morning because it's open for like two hours two hours of a whole day and it was early i just had to get out and get there so yeah, that is my little post office outfit, but I have a Zoom call later this afternoon and I think I'm gonna try and start a new vlog as well. So this will not be like my official outfit of the day, but I just thought I'd show you it because I don't think I've really shown you that outfit combo yet this winter slash autumn. But anyway, I'll be back with you in a little bit. Hopefully I will have sorted the main out and I'll have the proper outfit. I'm dressed. I have a real hate it or rate it outfit for you this afternoon. So this cardigan is one that I picked up from ASOS. I think it might be... I can't remember if it's from ASOS specifically or it's like Topshop on ASOS. But they did it in two colorways. So one was like majority darker with lighter kind of like patterning running through. And then they did this one, which is majority like lighter with some darker bits running through. I really like this one. I think it will be such a nice piece. It's like a thin cardigan and i think going into like that mid transitional winter to spring this would be really cute with a big black scarf bundled over the top so you're still like warm and snuggly because it's not like fully spring but you're not wearing a thick coat i'll show you with the scarf on because i think it looks really cute with a black chunky scarf around the neck and then i've just got my same body on underneath as earlier my h&m leggings and then my uggies in terms of jewelry i have my monica vinader disco hoop earrings on i've got my monica vinader little dainty necklace on which i'm loving i really like their necklaces they do some really cute like simple dainty ones and i'm really enjoying that at the moment it's very no fuss and i really like it but it's like still gives you a little bit of something to your outfit and then for rings i have the same monica vinada one that i've been wearing for most of this video and then i have my other monica vinada ones just really loving these at the moment okay this is my same scarf from asos that you see literally all the time because i'm obsessed with it yeah this is the overall snuggly little look and as it gets warmer i will definitely 
get a lot of wear out of this outside but until then it's still really nice to wear inside but yeah I know that a lot of you are probably gonna hate this because it's a little bit out there but I liked the fact that it was still neutral colors kind of similar to the one that I ordered from Zara which I am sending back because I just really struggled to style it and then I saw this one and I was like actually I much prefer the length of that one I'm just not I'm not sure I'm a shorter cardigan girl especially in a print like that it just really isn't gonna work for me I tried styling up so so many days in a row and I was just like no actually I'm not vibing with this it's too oversized if it had been a smaller size then I would have kept it so yeah this is my alternative what do you guys think do you hate it let me know. Good evening everybody, I've had a little bit of loungewear arrived this evening and I'm so excited to share it with you. I've been waiting for this since last November. I had the chance to get this in the showroom in a size small, but I just thought it'd be a bit too oversized and I decided to pass it up and I'm so glad I did because the extra small finally came back into stock in this Aldenola set. And I'm so, so happy, it's so worth the wait. So. I have this hoodie in the lovely light grey and then I've got the matching tracksuit bottoms which fit so well. I'm so chuffed with them, honestly so pleased and they look so cute with my arms. Oh yeah, I have been waiting all day to change into these. I'm so happy, I'm gonna go cook dinner now and I'm gonna live my comfiest, best little life. Also I have new flowers, how cute are they? I put these here earlier, they just look so cute. But yeah, I'm gonna go cook dinner now. Love you, bye. Hello everybody, really simple little OOTD today. I have meetings this morning, came back from the gym and I was just literally like, what do I put on for the day? So this is, this is it. I've gone for a classic black body. This one has a really nice high neck, which I love. I've got my new look mom jeans on, which I kind of just wear as a straight leg jean and like have them unrolled. And then I've got my Gucci loafers on with them as well. So just like really nice and easy and then for jewelry i've got my monica vinida disco hoop earrings in no necklace which i really want to put my monica vinida one on but i just forgot and then i've got my majuri and local eclectic rings on my fingers which i am just loving and then gone for straight hair today because it was just really misbehaving i think i'm gonna wear a hat of some kind tomorrow so i thought i might as well straighten it now because i like straight hair with my hats but yeah very like no fuss really nice and easy this is one of my current favorites for working from home because it's just really simple feel good in it but it's not it's not fusty and yeah it's just nice everybody it is a little bit noisy this morning i think there's some building work going on nearby which is ruining my background noise but this is this morning's outfit i have a skin appointment in town so i I have like minimal makeup on. I've done my brows, I've put some mascara on and I've put some lip product on and then I've just got my SPF on. So I'm feeling a bit out of sorts today. I really don't like getting dressed in like going outside clothes when I don't have makeup on. I feel like I should be in trackies, like my Adenola set. Maybe it's just because I want to be in my Adenola set. Who knows? But this is my outfit of the morning. I'm really begrudging the fact that I actually have just realized I don't have any like longer socks that are black and this is bugging me so much. So this is not a stylistic choice as such. This is just, I would want my ankles to be warm and I didn't have any longer black socks. So that's something I'll be picking up whilst I'm in town, but I've got a very, very old Topshop aviator coat on. I dug this one out of the loft. I was gonna put it on Depop. This is the repeat pattern. I go to put things on Depop and then they don't end up on Depop. They end up back in my wardrobe. But yeah, I'm really enjoying wearing this one. It's just a really nice, easy one for when you want to look non-slobby, but you want to be comfy and it's very warm as well. It's like completely, I believe, completely fair. It feels completely fur lined. Yeah literally faux fur the whole way around. I've got my ASOS scarf on, I've got a grey body on underneath, which is why I went with grey socks, because if I had to, I was gonna coordinate it in some way. I've got my H&M leggings on. I think my socks are also from H&M, if anyone cared. My UGG Ultra Minis, Chanel 19 bag, just to switch it up a bit, because I realized this morning that I've basically been wearing the same bag for about a month straight now, so mixing it up a little bit today. And yeah, that is, that is the outfit. I may change before I go out tonight. If I do, I will show you. It is Saturday. I'm back 
in the Adenola tracksuit. And I have a little outfit today that's actually from one of my reels that I posted recently, which was a 10 winter outfits. It was a bit late to the game with the winter outfit styling this year, so I didn't do anything on YouTube. But basically, if I know it's not gonna land on YouTube, I put it on Instagram that you guys still get the content, but it's just in a quick format. So if you are looking for some winter outfit inspo, go and check that out. But I was so surprised that the outfit I'm gonna to put together for you today is a variation of your guys' favorite. I think this number 10, which is the last one, so sorry if you have to watch through the whole thing and you haven't actually, like, you don't know which outfit I'm talking about, but you will in a sec. Outfit number 10 was the favorite. And I was shocked, because like, do you mean to tell me that I've been doing all of this styling for years and years and years, and the outfit with the tracksuit is your favorite? But yeah, so I actually really did like that outfit as well, so I know why it's everyone's favourite. It was very cool. So I'm going to pull that outfit together today. I am just doing my little morning walk, my little meditative walk. I just walk for about, well, it's 5k and just completely zone out and it's absolutely lovely. So I just threw this on this morning because I'm obsessed with it. It's already out of stock. Maybe it will be back in stock by the time this video goes live, I don't know. But I will link to it either way. But the tracksuit bottoms are still in stock. I would just recommend if you want to wait for the hoodie, get the tracksuit bottoms because you don't know when the stock is going to flip and you might not end up getting both at the same time. And then underneath I've got an aloe yoga sports bra. I hope you enjoyed me just flashing you there basically. And then I've got my Nike trainers which are super old, a little bit grubby but they are like clouds and amazing to walk in. On my lips this morning I have Vive Aphrodite lip liner with pinch lipstick and it's just a really nice kind of like nudie pink but it's nice and like brightening. I really love it. I really love the formulas as well. They look shiny in the bullet but then you put them on and they're like a super like lovely matte finish. I really like them. They're very comfortable to wear, wear really well. That is the overall look for today. I've got my hair in a ponytail, which is such a rare occasion, but my hair is finally getting almost long enough for it. And I do find when I'm on like last day hair, it seems to sit in a ponytail a bit better. So yeah, that's what I've got today. And then I will show you my coat now. Lots of you will know this coat. It's an old favorite of mine. And we've got this bag and then my YSL sunnies. So yeah, this is the outfit slightly different to the one in my reel because I have my hair in a bun which maybe the bun looks better maybe it looks a bit cooler I don't know but yeah just super nice and casual but really nice and warm basically because uh my walk is by the sea and it'd be cold Good morning everybody wow my hair is huge today I've just taken it out of a ponytail and it's big. It's actually hair wash day, so it's gonna be big all day. So we're just gonna have to deal with this. I feel like I'm always telling you it's hair wash day. But yeah, like I said, just got in from a walk, done my steps for the day, and I've done that thing where you like take off all of your clothing. So I'm gonna show you what I was wearing for my walk. I'm gonna have to get dressed with you again because I obviously did not go for a walk like this. I would have been very cold. It was very windy. I didn't film an outfit yesterday because I just had one of those days where I was like, I just want to wear something that I have already worn like a thousand times and it not even really be an outfit. I wore like a white body and leggings and a pair of boots and it really was, it was such a non-outfit. I don't know, let me know if you like seeing the non-outfits, but I feel self-conscious enough already about the fact that this what I wore has been extremely casual. So anyway, this morning, I went with the good old Adenola hoodie, which is definitely do a wash now because I think I've worn it like every day this week since it arrived. I might think that's unnecessary, but my little foundation face gets on everything. And then I went with my, I don't usually look this nice on a walk, but I went for a walk with someone different today and felt like I had to make an effort. I went for my white cream, whatever you want to call it, Ecru Zara coat. Just like hoodie underneath keeping me warm, sports bra to just like keep the girls in place. And then my cream coat I think works really nicely with the light gray. And then I've got Adenola socks on and then my Nike trainers. They don't really go together, but we just deal with it because my outfit just really didn't matter all that much. But yeah, that is the first outfit of the day, but I'm not gonna wear this for the rest of the day. I'm actually going to put some clothes on. Okay, so this is today's outfit. I think this one might actually be one of my favorites from this video. It's really, really cute, really nice for kind of like day to day. It's actually really, really comfortable, but it looks pulled together and I really like that. I'm gonna work from the top down. I've got my Monica Minida hoop earrings in, which I'm just really obsessed with at the moment. No necklace because there's a lot going on around my neck right now. And to be honest, I can't be bothered. The same rings as usual. So we've got my Majuri ring stacked with my local eclectic ring and then another Majuri ring and my local eclectic rings. I'm really, really happy with these. They 
just looks so so cute like really simple but really effective and i am loving them so yeah that is that's probably the last time i'm going to mention them because i feel like i have talked about them way too much and then we've got a zara blazer i'll show you what's underneath on my top half in a second actually then we've got my adenola leggings still these work kind of well for every day depends on your preference but they are very like matte and really nice and comfortable and not too thick not too thin either and then i've got my fendi boots these are the non monogrammed boots well they are monogrammed but they've not got the really obvious logoing on them they kind of look a bit like lace if you're not looking too hard and don't know the fendi i really like that did i say my scarf was from zara i cannot remember but i really like the fact that the tan matches the tan on my zara blazer this zara blazer i actually got ages ago it's part of a two set so it comes with a skirt i very rarely wear the skirt you will see in the next vlog I've done a little wardrobe, kind of like a mini cleanse, and I've got a few pieces marked to like spend more time trying to style up and integrate back into my wardrobe post lockdown. I used to wear this a lot before lockdown, but I haven't really needed lasers as such really. But yeah, it's a great piece. It's a little bit big for me now, but I still think it's amazing and goes really, really well with a simple outfit like this. I've actually played about with this high collar sleeveless knit underneath because there is no collar to the blazer. So I actually thought this is like the perfect opportunity to style this in a smarter way. Cause I wear this, I'll show you in full in a sec. I wear this all the time, just layered up over stuff because it's really great in the winter at keeping me warm. It's more of a like practical purchase than a style purchase. I know a lot of girls wear these like on an everyday basis and they really enjoy styling something like this. It's not necessarily my go-to, but it was quite practical purchase for me and I love that. And then with this sleeveless knit, I have a little thermal on underneath. But yeah, this is the outfit just on its own with no blazer. Really nice and casual. So when I'm just like around the house, I'm just nice and warm. Oh God, you guys, I just realized I almost forgot to show you the bag that I was playing with this outfit. What's wrong with me? Okay, let's try that again. So this is the outfit with my bag of choice. I really love the black and tan on this bag mixed with the black and tan on the scarf. I don't know why. I don't know if some people might think it's too much, but I personally just love it. I think out of all my bags, it works the best with this outfit. It's really cute. Just adds a little bit more texture, but the colors all complement each other really nicely. I think it's personally one of my favorite outfits of this video. But let me know what your favorite was in the comments. And that is going to be it for me today. First, what I wore of the year complete. I know lots of people say that the what I wore's are their favorites. So if you like it, like it, share it, do all the things with it because it really does help me know that you love it. And if you're new, feel free to subscribe. My upload days are Mondays and Thursdays. We're back to Mondays and Thursdays very, very soon. Is it this week? It might be this week. It might be next week. I can't remember. But either way, my next video is going to be a wardrobe cleanse and there's a lot of other stuff going on in that vlog. It's just like a nice little life vlog. There's some new in bits. There's wardrobe cleansing. There's a bit of everything. So make sure you check back if you want to see that. I'm going to go now. I hope you've all enjoyed this video. I love you lots and I'll see you guys again very soon. Love you, bye.